Sweetie, my baby. Hi, baby. Hey, sweetie. Hi, my baby. Hi, sweetie. Oh, my baby. My girl. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have another packing video for you guys because what? I'm neurotic and I love organizing and packing and I love going on vacation and making sure everything has its own little compartments and yes, queen. If you want to see what I pack in my suitcase, I will have that video linked down below and as well as my carry-on. Those are going to be two separate videos. Check them out down below and if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. We have a baby here and she's very excited, aren't you? You have an eye gook. There you go, my sweetie. So on this vacation that I have packed for, I am going for a total of eight days. So that is a very long time. I'm also a glamour girl. I love hair. I love makeup. I love it all. So there's no reason for me to skimp out. Why are you biting her? Um, I'm bringing everything that I need. I'm not bringing to the extent of what I use at home, but I am bringing a lot of stuff. Okay. So this is again, like I said before, this is not a video where, you know, you're trying to get by with, you know, a makeup wipe. Okay. I got these bags from NYX Cosmetics. This is what I used when I worked with them for what feels like a lifetime ago. I was always traveling with them and these were very on brand. Um, so this is what I use to travel. I really like these. I've had these forever. They are quite durable. I am going to be talking about my toiletry bag first. This bag is fantastic. It has three compartments. The one complaint about this would be the little tie here. It's just a little thin elastic and it's pretty well breaking at this point. So it's not very functional in that sense. I love that it has a hanger. In the back, there is also a zipper compartment back here. I have only used this once and then I completely forgot that there were things back there because I typically have this laying down, so I don't ever put anything back there anymore. Sweetie, I need you to go down, my baby. Okay, can you go down? Sweetie, oh my girl. Hey, baby, sweetie. Can you go down? This container has three different compartments and I've kind of organized as to what they are. So down here I have mostly hair items, up here I have miscellaneous toiletries and whatnot, and then in the center I mainly have my liquids. What I really like about this little sleeve here is this is actually Velcroed on and it's removable. When I am traveling and only using a carry-on, I will typically only use this bag and I'll try and fit my makeup in here too. And then I can just remove this at TSA and they actually like approve this as a bag for my liquids. I've never had an issue having to put it in one of their own like little plastic baggies. Even though this is mesh, I've never had a problem with it. And this is like way more than the allotted liquids. Um, but I've never been stopped and I've been on a plane more times than I can count. So <sighs> fingers crossed they don't get, oh no, I'm checking this, it doesn't matter. I'll talk about what is in this upper compartment first. I like this compartment because it's very flat and that's what I really enjoy about this case. It's really not too bulky, um, <laughs> you know, considering how much I am bringing with me. Now, in here I have my makeup wipes I'm bringing. These are Burt's Bees. I have some cotton rounds, some Q-tips. I'm also bringing a razor. My toothbrush is down here. I have some floss. I have some Advil. I also have um, a little bit of eardrops here. I am prone to getting ear infections and it's horrible. And the last thing I want is to have an ear infection and have to pay out the wazoo for eardrops. So there we go. I also have a little thing of some antihistamines. I am allergic to horses, so you never know when you're going to come in contact. I hope four is enough. I'm praying. I also have my deodorant. And then down in here, I'm also bringing some just band-aids that are just tucked in there just in case. And then I also have a couple panty liners. You never know. And I also have just an extra sewing kit from previous hotel stay. And that is everything that is in this upper bit. It's nothing too crazy. La -di -da -di -da. I also do want to mention that some items that I would typically put in here, I bring with me on my carry-on. For example, nail clippers, a nail file. I'm not going to bring it in here because I want that with me. Girl, what if I break a nail in the airport? I need it in my carry-on. I'm going to talk about the liquid section last. So next I'm going to be going, ooh, that's loud. We're going to be talking about my hair 
area. That sounds not right. Hair area. Now I will mention, I am gonna be putting my straightener in here. I currently don't have my straightener in here because I'm gonna be using it. I do have two, but one is in my kit and then one is in my bathroom. I'm not gonna be bringing a curling iron because I can curl my hair with my straightener if I so desire. Now, let's get into the goods. I have my hair items in here, like I mentioned. I am bringing a little vial of shampoo. Yes, the hotel may have shampoo, but um, you never know. So I'm just bringing a tiny little vial of shampoo. I'm also bringing leave-in conditioner. I'm not messing around with bringing regular conditioner because I'm going to the ocean, you guys, with salt water. So a leave-in conditioner is necessary. Even with my hair being super fine, it can get really greasy having a leave-in conditioner is absolutely essential it'll save your hair okay i'm also bringing a little container of hairspray it's only like half full i'm really hoping it's gonna last me um i need hairspray to style my hair so uh let's pray i also have in here my tweezer man tweezer man what am i saying my tangle teaser brush i absolutely love this brush because it has a cover on it and it's tiny, which is perfect for travel, and then a comb for me to tease my hair. And those are the only hair tools that I'm bringing. Baby. An item that is not a hair item is a body moisturizer. I'm bringing the Chris Tinkle by Lush. I'm bringing this guy because it has a nice cooling effect to it. And if I do get burned, I feel like this would be a very good body moisture moisturizer. This is what you put on also when you're wet out of the shower love this stuff i wish that they launched this other than just around christmas two other items that are not hair items just two masks um i thought that these would be super fun i have so many of these baby i thought these would be really fun for me and my mom to do because i am going on vacation with my mom you know one night in the hotel room just throw a mask on sounds fun now last but not least in here i have four different organza bags if you didn't know these guys are called organza bags we are going to be talking about the black ones first. Here I have two wefts of my Roger Medina hair extensions. In the event that I do want a little bit more volume or length to my hair, I am bringing these. Won't necessarily use them, but it might be nice to have them. It gets hot as balls in Manitoba here as well, so I know what it's like to wear hair extensions when it's very hot, so I'm not concerned about that. I'm rambling. My cats are like having an issue. Baby really wants out of my apartment. I'm not sure why. She got a taste of it when the mail lady came today. She's having an issue, hair extensions. I'm also bringing some headbands. I love when I'm on vacation and I just throw a head, excuse me? <clears throat> and I throw my hair back in a headband. So I have a colorful one. Oh my God, I know, color, <laughs> it's crazy. I have a black and white one. And then I also have a Lululemon headband if I'm wanting that like sporty look, you know what I'm saying? In this little white guy, I also have some hair elastics. I have some thicker ones, some thinner ones, and then some mini ones that are black and clear, because you never know. I have two clips, some bobby pins, and then I also have a scrunchie. So that's pretty much all I need to do really any hairstyle. It's in that bag. And then last but not least, I am keeping my jewelry in here as well. I have two pairs of silver and then two pairs of gold. I'm not a huge jewelry person. I'm not going to be wearing a ton of jewelry. I'm not bringing any necklaces, any rings, but I will throw on a pair of earrings in the evening at dinner. So I just have some hoops, some little pearl earrings, some nice golden turquoise, and then some really ornate gold fun earrings there. So that is everything that is in this bottom pouch, hair pouch. And that brings us to our last section, which is most of our liquids. I have some of the liquids in the hair area, but um, this is mostly where all the liquids are. So let's start. Again, like I mentioned, I'm going to Puerto Vallarta. Oh, I love trying to have an accent. I sound so cultured, but I really don't know hardly any Spanish. Anyway, I, ha I do know some. I can get around. Don't worry. I'm not going with like no idea. So I have in here some bug spray. If you're going to Mexico, you don't think you need bug spray. You guys, you need bug spray. I'm telling you right now, don't think you don't, you need it, okay? Bug spray, love. I am gonna be bringing two different uh, sunscreens. I'm bringing two different sunscreens in my suitcase. I have a sport, which this is SPF 50, this is copper tone, and then I also have my Bioderma, this is SPF 40. 
I am bringing two because I am very white and I would not want to run out of sunscreen because sunscreen can get really expensive if you're buying it especially at the resort like it can be upwards of 20 to 30 dollars so bringing an extra one really isn't hurting anybody I would highly recommend it I also have a tube of toothpaste because you've got to keep the, I was about to say dentures, got to keep the teeth clean. I am not too thrilled about having to bring this full size face wash, but I do not have any face wash that is a travel size, which is beyond me. I can try and find like a bottle of it somewhere, I'm sure. But for now, I have this guy, which I'm not too hurt about if I do need to bring this whole thing. Now, as far as my skincare routine goes, it's pretty intense when I'm at home, but I'm just bringing like the bare minimum of what I would need on vacation. So in here, I have <laughs> bare minimum. I have two makeup removers. I'm bringing a micellar water and then an oil-based makeup remover. If I have waterproof mascara on, I need this in order to remove it, so it is essential. Then in here, I have my moisturizer. This is the Bioderma Hy Hydra Bio Serum. This is a serum, not a moisturizer. No, it's a moisturizer concentrate. It's for very dehydrated skin. I like the bottle because it's very small, so that's what I'm gonna bring it. And then I'm bringing this Kiehl's eye opening serum so that's for my eyes and then for my face so those are my two like face moisturizers and then last but not least in here i'm just bringing a little fresh rose face mask so those are all the liquids that i'm bringing it seems like a lot i could really minimize this but i need everything else that is here I don't know if you guys would consider this a lot. Do you think this is a lot of stuff? I'm not sure. I mean, I really, I'm gonna use it all. I don't know why I'm trying to justify myself. This is my trip. So we're done with toiletries and now we're gonna move on to what I'm bringing as far as makeup. Excuse me, sir. You're quite in the way. I know you're absolutely obsessed with me and I love you to bits, but I will need you to excuse yourself. Please. Pa Oh, okay, you can stay. I'm gonna preface this section by saying I have not packed my brushes in here. I have yet to wash them. I bring pretty much one of every brush that I need, okay? I really like this bag from NYX because there is a section for your brushes and this is typically where I do keep those and it has a nice little plastic sleeve to keep them safe, clean, and not dirty any of your makeup that is in here. I don't feel like I'm taking a ton of stuff, but I am bringing enough to get ready and glammed up um, in the evening because that's what I love to do. And I'm not going to just bring a waterproof mascara and pray because that's just not me, okay? I am gonna be bringing some foundations and I'm gonna be bringing a lighter foundation and then I'm also gonna be bringing a couple shades of a deeper foundation. The reason I'm doing this is because I know I'm going to get darker so I do need to bring deeper foundations. It's just what I need to do. The eyeshadow palette that I'm bringing is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This thing is so beautiful and um, I love this palette. It has everything you need, especially for like any vacations. I'm gonna be bringing a case of lashes. I have three lashes in here, only two pairs now, but I'm gonna throw another pair in there or else the ones that I have on there. I'm also gonna be bringing a setting spray. I know this kind of looks like pee, but it's the Bed Nye setting spray. It's amazing. I'm gonna be bringing a setting powder. This is Kat Von D, just in case I do use my liquid foundation, but I do think that I'm only gonna be using my powder foundation, but you never know. For primer, I'm using the Hangover Primer by Too Faced. And for more face items, I have the Smashbox Contour Kit in Fair. I have a Maybelline brush, the Hama Mama Bronzer by The Bomb, and then my Wet n Wild highlighter. And those are all of the face powders that I'm bringing. I'm really not gonna mess around with any more. I think that that is plenty. As far as tools go, I'm gonna be bringing my eyelash curler, a powder puff, a pair of scissors, a sponge, and then a pair of tweezers. That's pretty essential for me. I can't live without any of this stuff because I'm crazy, I'm a makeup artist, I gotta have this stuff. Bringing my Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Primer YSL Mascara. This is a regular mascara. I still need to pick up a waterproof mascara. Hopefully I will not forget. I also don't know, I feel like maybe I wanna get lash extensions, but then I don't. I haven't quite decided. For brows, just my NYX Brow Pencil and Urban Decay um, 
brow gel. I'm bringing a couple eyeliners here. I have a liquid liner. I have a faux white by NYX, my favorite like bronzy coppery. It's Urban Decay Roach. I absolutely love this. It makes my eyes so blue. And then I'm also bringing a blue pencil because I've really been loving blue underneath my waterline. So I thought that might be like a little nice little flare. I forgot to mention I'm also bringing a black liner for my waterline as well. I have two glitters here. I have a um, brush on glitter, glitter liner, and then my NYX, oh, my platinum glitter roller. I love that thing. I also have my pencil sharpener that is also a tool I forgot to mention. Bringing one concealer, it's my YSL concealer. It's in 0 0.5, love that concealer. And the rest of this stuff is lip products, which seems a little crazy, but I love lip products. It's my ish, so please do not judge. I'm bringing one lip liner. It's my favorite nude lip liner. It's called Vanilla Sky in the NYX Retractable. It is divine. It looks great on my skin tone. I have a couple liquid lipsticks and I'm bringing these Maybelline Superstay inks just because they stay on your lips so well. They are not gonna budge. They're not gonna go anywhere. I'm bringing Pioneer, which is a beautiful red. I'm bringing this bright pink and then this nice like orangey. So this is heroin romantic and then pioneer i thought these would be really fun shades for the vacation also bringing two other liquid lips my nyx in sandstorm it's an absolute must favorite nude and then this makeup forever in the shade 105 it's that kind of perfect pink shade i mentioned this in my favorites love that i'm also bringing two glosses these are part of the pretty rich collection by Too faced i'm bringing my jordan woods and then this guy is called what is this called i really like this one this is sunset crush have to bring these two because I'm obsessed. And last but not least, I'm also bringing my Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. This is in the shade Spice Girl. It just has a nice tint to it. And who doesn't love a little plumped lip? You know what I'm saying? So that is all the makeup that I'm bringing. It seems like a lot when I have it all out here, but I'm gonna be using all of this. Do you guys think this is too much for a vacation? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't think it is, but it might be. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys when I'm back with a tan. I cannot wait. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.